So Shell is of course uh, the biggest Dutch fossil fuel company and also the uh, biggest sponsor. Uh, other yeah, relationships are the Scheepvaart Museum and BP, uh, the Hermitage, the Groninger Museum, orchestras, and what they are doing is uh, typical, yeah, what I call access sponsoring, so buying access to the Dutch elite. The, you can do this uh, starting at 5,000 euros a year if you want to be at the uh, Rijksmuseum Business Club. You can have, uh, I believe, 60 tickets and you get a yearly CEO breakfast. And believe it or not, that is the, uh, that's what it costs to sit with all the CEOs of the Netherlands every year. And that's what these companies uh, do. And then we have uh, the big one, which is Shell. They sponsor in the Netherlands uh, the Van Gogh Museum, Maurits Huis, uh, Nemo Science Museum, uh, the I Film Museum, the Concertgebouw, and the Rotterdam Philharmonic Orchestra, all sponsored by Shell. So we're talking about, uh, in total, 12 institutions in the Netherlands sponsored uh, by fossil fuel. Uh, sorry, 10 out of 12 are in the Randstad, and eight are in Amsterdam. So most is happening in Amsterdam. And it's spread across all different kinds. So you have uh, classical music, visual art. Everyone lets themselves be sponsored, uh, except for the Stedelijk. If you were hoping for that, uh, no. So you cannot, yeah, have to be, uh, maybe step as a contemporary artist, step outside your comfort zone if you want to do something here. Let's look a little bit um, at uh, one case study. Uh, Shell sponsoring the visual arts in the Netherlands. Uh, these two, so the Mauritshuis and the Van Gogh. Prestigious but safe. Also, you know, in internationally well known, so good for what, uh, what they call company pride, giving tickets to employees so they feel good about their work. And of course, uh, maintaining their uh, yeah, relationship or, I mean, their status as the Dutch elite. Now, the relationship between Shell and uh, Mauritshuis and Van Gogh is actually quite interesting because it's not your uh, typical, you know, here's a wad of money uh, logo on the wall sponsorship. They really did something uh, tailor-made for their, their instance of art washing. It's a program called Partners in Science and promotes so-called unique technical abilities of Shell for conservation of art, which is, of course, a big uh, thing for these two institutions. As Shell VP of Communications put it, the collaboration with the Mauritshuis offers us the opportunity to share knowledge and technologies to supply the world with energy, also for unique artworks and their conservation for future generations. So yeah, what it does is makes uh, Shell seem crucial to, uh, to Dutch heritage. You know, as they also put it, the knowledge gathered transcends the interest of the Mauritshuis uh, and Shell, it benefits the whole of Dutch society. It, it, they don't, this way they don't have to talk about money and they can make it seem a little bit more interesting than just a monetary relationship. So money is hardly mentioned at all in uh, this sponsorship campaign. And this campaign was so good they even won a prize for it. Best sponsorship campaign uh, of 2014 in the cultural world. So what does this cost? You know, the amounts that uh, art institutions get in relation to their total budgets and especially in relationship to the total budgets of these companies is really, yeah, uh, shockingly uh, low. They paid 3 million euros uh, once for renovation of the building and they paid $100,000 a year for this campaign. So it's even less than Tate. And this is a $400 billion a year company. So that's almost two thirds of the Dutch economy. Okay, there's these claims about conservation, but what, what happens in practice? And uh, well, I have some sources. I also have some public information. So it's quite well able to reconstruct this. So there's, um, there's three elements. Analysis of paint samples, like uh, when you restore a painting, you also want to do research, like what pigments do, did uh, Van Gogh uh, use? And they have to use an electron microscope. So actually one restorer from the uh, Van Gogh wanted to uh, do this research. And normally they take a sample, they go from the Van Gogh 
to the electron microscope at the Rijksmuseum uh, Restoration Atelier, which is across the museum square, so about 100 meters. Now, in the, uh, uh, because of this partnership, they went to the shell facilities across the eye, which is five kilometers, and they used the exact same electron microscope that they have at the museum square. They also did uh, some, Shell made some custom solvents, like if you want to clean a painting, normally, you know, this is uh, like chemical laboratory work, which they're perfectly able to do themselves, do it all the time. Well, now it was done by Shell for, uh, in 10 cases, I believe. And uh, thirdly, Shell made one staffer available who, you know, took a per personal interest in art and was, uh, was going to retire uh, soon anyway. So that's like what this uh, practically entails, this, this partnership. I, I uh, wondered like what is the money then really spent on? Uh, the 100,000 euros are spent on sponsored research on conservation by these musea. That's it and uh, I hope you're going to have a productive debate on this. Oh, okay.